is. As he told me if I could do an interpretive dance. You know, can I give a PowerPoint presentation, a song, call it sick, you know, anything but to do the speech. And then sure enough, week of the wedding comes and I have the worst tooth infection. I barely could eat or talk this week. But you know, there's no other place that I'd rather be than right here and right now. So if I do start crying, it's not because of the wedding, it's because of my tooth. <laughs> um, but you know, one thing that always makes me happy is when I'm in the presence of love. And when I look at Kim and Joseph, I see two people who truly love each other for you know all that they are, and um, and that's all I can ask for. Um, but you know, the funny thing is, um, when I first met Joseph, I was a little surprised because he can be a little quiet sometimes. <laughs> and you know, let's face it, Tom was a little bit on the loud side. <laughs> Just a little bit. Understatement. So I didn't, I didn't understand how these two got along because they were so different. I really didn't get it. Until I got to know Joseph and I understood it. Because I saw a man who loved John for everything that she is, all her craziness, everything that she does, he puts up with it, and treats her, <laughs> you know, not much, but uh, he treats her nothing with uh, respect and patience. And all I want from my friends is happiness, so thank you, Joseph, for making my friends so happy. Um, when she was wearing the first time I met her. <laughs> I was looking over and I saw this girl wearing overalls and a sweater. And I was like, who is that girl? <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was so, like, five years ago. <laughs> but anyways, I see this girl and, you know, she wasn't talking much. I, was, I thought she was shy and weird, you know, so we never really talked. Um, and then one day we saw that we were in the same class and we sat next to each other. And from then on, you know, I don't know how we started hanging out, what happened, but we became inseparable. Um, I even had my own dorm room, but I was always over at her place, I took over her bed. <laughs> so I, we were just always together. And one thing that I love about Kyung is um, I never have to worry about being judged for being weird or ridiculous because she's just as weird and ridiculous, <laughs> if not a little worse. Um, and we just, we, We've done so many crazy things, like we've driven 30 minutes to go eat Tommy's burgers or Yoshinoi, or if we didn't feel like going to class, we would pretend we had a flat tire and take a nap in the car. I mean, I don't know what we did, but you know, Tom was always by my side. I never had to worry about any of that. Um, but, uh, you know, Joseph, I know you're always going to be there for Tom. But just remember, I'm always going to be in the picture as well. So don't be surprised if I'm on your couch or you know, if I call your wife to hit the clubs. You know what happened. So you know, I'm always going to be there for her as well. So I wanted to take a quick moment to take a trip down memory lane to see just how far we've come. Thank you.